Are you allowed to wear glasses as a pilot in Canada? Well, the short answer is yes. I did it myself. And in this video, we're going to look at my own personal experience as well as what are the actual rules and procedures. See, contrary to popular belief, perfect uncorrected vision from birth is actually not a requirement anymore to be a pilot. Glasses, contact lenses, as well as refractive surgery within limits are all acceptable means of visual correction. See, initially, when you're getting your pilot's license, if you do wear glasses, on your license, it will say glasses must be worn. And you need to keep a spare set of glasses with you at all times, just in case the primary one breaks. The same goes with contact lenses. You need a backup at all times. So that's actually one of the big reasons why I decided to get my own laser eye surgery. Now, there's actually two most common laser eye surgeries done in Canada, and that is the PRK and LASIK eye surgery. The PRK is the more older surgery that was done back in the 90s, and LASIK is the more newer one. There's actually a couple more new ones after LASIK. We have LASIK with the EK, as well as EpiLASIK. See, I did mine over 10 years ago because I had thick, thick glasses uh, with astigmatism. It was actually quite bad. I think it was like minus 3.25 or something. I would have to get new glasses all the time because I kept breaking them, uh, you know, playing outside. So when I did mine, I opted for the LASIK eye surgery. Because it was the more newer, modern one, I thought it was probably the better choice because they, of course, improved upon the previous methods of doing the laser surgery so I decided to go for the more modern one and they told me at the time that they were going to scan 240 points in my eye to ensure that it's done even more accurately so when i looked at the doctor's experience he said that he's done over 5,000 surgeries it made me feel really comfortable the thing to keep in mind is that when you do do a laser eye surgery you're actually self-grounding yourself you must always self-declare that you've done this laser eye surgery to Transport Canada because let's say you do not declare it. The next time when you go for your medical and you have a miraculous improvement, they will pursue that. And because you've been lying on your medical that you all of a sudden had a miraculous uh, vision, they're going to pursue that and you could face you know hefty fines. So I would come clean and declared right away that you did laser surgery. When it comes to laser eye surgery, you might be asking which procedures does Transport Canada recommend? And the answer is, well, it's an elective surgery, meaning it's a personal voluntary decision that you have to make taking into account all the risks and procedures. So they can't actually tell you to go for a specific procedure. They just want to make sure that after the procedure is done, that you can see clearly without any complications you'll find that there are many service providers out there that offer laser eye surgery correction. So I would say buyer beware. Make sure that you choose a good surgeon, hopefully somebody that has done thousands of surgeries. You do not want to be the first patient of that surgeon doing the laser eye surgery. Now, after you do your laser eye surgery, you have to actually submit a report after 30 days. This report is done by your ophthalmologist and includes a whole bunch of details in there that talks about the condition of your eyes post-surgery. They want to make sure that everything is going well. In terms of my pilot license, because you're watching this video because you want to be a pilot, I would say I was grounded for about six months. That was a long time, six months to not fly. But it took six months for me to feel really comfortable that my night vision was back to normal. I could see everything again, uh, back to 2020 vision. So hopefully this video helps you out, weigh the pros and cons of doing your laser eye surgery. And what I was told that it's by no means perfect, meaning that I was told that after age 40, 45 onwards, your eyesight gets naturally weaker and you have to wear reading glasses anyways. So it's something that if you're gonna do, I recommend doing it when you're much younger. All right, hopefully this video helps you out and I will see you in the next one. Take care.